Hello, good morning. It is 6.49am and I've been on the road for an hour and 20 minutes. I sat up at 5.30. So yeah, an hour and 20 minutes. Oh, hello, come back up here. What is going on? There we go. As I said, I've been on the road since 5.30am, got up at 5, got ready, got in the car, off we go, mini road trip up to Yorkshire to spend the day with my family. It's a very, very quick whirlwind trip. I'm literally just there today, hoping to get home by like 9.30 a.m. And then I'll be driving back down to Surrey tomorrow morning. So it really, really is a whirlwind, but basically I need to see my parents. I've hardly seen them the past like six weeks. And you guys know that it's really important to me to regularly see my parents. So even if it's just a quick flying visit, I am coming home for the day. So I just pulled over in a service station because I saw they had a Leon. And as soon as I see a service station has a Leon, sign me up, that's where I wanna be. Gonna go get a Leon, probably get some brekkie and yeah, get back on the road because I wanna make sure that I avoid any crazy traffic so far. So good. Oh my God, can you just stay there? <laughs> this camera does not wanna stay there. So I'm gonna sign off now. I'm gonna head into this service station and get some food also the weather is blowing awful so i'm gonna have to put my head up my head up i can't get my words out maybe because i've been up since yeah like pre 5 a.m so let's go lovely weather for ducks this it's literally drizzling mizzling it's to rain all day my parents and i were hoping to have a country walk but god knows if that's gonna happen are you joking are you joking guys the leon was closed the leon was closed it's not open until 8 a.m which is an hour and 10 minutes away i've got myself a coffee from costa i hate costa coffee well i don't hate it so it's not my favorite you know i would have much preferred a leon so i'm gonna have to keep driving and find somewhere else because i can't eat breakfast from costa because i haven't got the best breakfast options so try and find a Leon or a Starbucks or something else. Blummin' heck, I'm gutted, gutted. I've really got my hopes up then. And your life is sort of putting on a show for you every day. Hiya, can I order a Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich, please? Yeah. And that's it. That's the drive around for me then, please. Thank you. Breakfast success. I've got the Starbucks Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich. This is like, one of my simple pleasures in life. I mean, simple pleasure, is it simple? I don't know, it's just delightful. If you haven't had this before, get it. I hope they continue it forever, but however long it is here, I will eat it on almost every single road trip that I have. It's just so good and it's hot and it's melty and it's toasty and it's got Beyond Meat in there. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hello, hello. Hello! Are you excited? Yeah, Are you excited? Hi! Hi! Oh, oh my goodness! What an exciting moment! Oh, it's heavy! Oh. Any guesses? Could be some wine, is it? <laughs> Could be a bit of wine! Dad's telling me that we have a full itinerary for the day come on here oh, oh in, in the picture here go on then good morning everybody so tell us what uh, we're doing well we're going to go into the greenhouse yeah and uh, there's a lovely big cauliflower ready for harvest and that's an event that's an, it's event. an event on the 11th of may in in <laughs> yes that is an event ready yeah because it's homegrown yeah it's homegrown it's homegrown what and else are we going to do well we've got lots of bedding plants outside i've uh -huh. planted most of the garden but we've got quite a lot of pots that still need filling mm -hmm. zana and helen are going to pick all the flowers uh -huh. to go in the pots so we're going to a selection process cauliflower and pick some bedding plants and probably go see the new chickens Two new chickens, Two. now we can move chickens because the avian bird flu restriction has been lifted. Yeah, so we're going to go see the new chickens. Yeah. So and the sheep have been shown. Oh, I'm going to go and see the sheep. Cold. So we're going to go see the sheep, the chickens, the cauliflower, the bedding plants. And we're, and we're going to walk uh, this afternoon with the, dog. Uh, with the dog. Teddy boy. Hello, Teddy. Teddy boy. He's never been so excited for such a long time. He's very excited to see me, he uh, knows. We're well, best friends, my, aren't we, Ted? And my head is only three quarters in the picture. Oh, sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's the problem when you're that tall, Dad. It's just what happens, you know. Oh, hello. <laughs> so welcome to Dad's lair. This is his greenhouse. You guys have been in here before. You've seen all of the 
magical things which happen in here. And where is the cauliflower, Dad? Uh, let me just do my glasses so I can see where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at these tomatoes. They are big and juicy. Oh my goodness. Well, we've got the first so many. Of the, of the new season. First red ones of the new season. Oh yeah, look at these guys. Looking so nice. The cauliflower. Yes. Is here. Show me. Oh wow! Look at all these big leaves. Goodness me. Yeah, well it's so what we do now is we push him over. Yeah. We get underneath with a knife. And then we have. He's big. Big and white. Beautiful. That looks Ooh, very that, tasty. That's, that's a nice cauliflower. Isn't that is it? a very nice cauliflower, Dad. That is big, eh? Hey? Hmm, that is a huge one. There you are with the others. <laughs> the next ones the <laughs> next ones are, The next ones are coming along. They're Let's just, have a look at them. They're just that Little size. babies. They are. Another week and they'll be ready. Oh wow, they grow so fast. And now we're getting all the leaves and we're going to take them to the sheep so they can have them as a snack. So everything's getting used. Got our leaves, got our goodies for the sheep. That's it, nothing gets wasted. Look at you, you're freshly sheared, aren't you? There you go. Who's this? Your new chickens? Yes, yeah, two buffalo pingtons. Um, I call them April and May. April and May. Yeah. Let's go have a look. Not very imaginative. Look at this one, she's very friendly. Hiya. This is the ex-battery hen. Oh, here they are. See the two big brownie, buffy coloured ones. But the chickens love being under the tree because chickens are like animals for edge of the woodland. Mm. So they feel safe with like nettles and trees and bushes. They've been, these have been laid in the last hour. Yes, because I collected the eggs at eight o'clock. So these are new ones. Oh, wow, we Cuter. Let's take those. Thank you so much, ladies. Oh, they're still warm. Are they still warm? They're lovely, aren't they, when they're warm? <laughs> Thank you for those. She's flapping her wings. So I said to your dad, I said, I like strawberries. Can you grow me a few strawberries? I ended up with all this. Look at how many strawberries. There's 110 pups. An automatic watering system. This is a Dutchman for you. Automatic watering system up high so it doesn't have to bend down to do it, or me either. So actually, it's really good, but I'm going to be out strawberry. You don't, uh, you don't do things by halves, do you, Dad? I'll make strawberry jam. <laughs> if, if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing well. Exactly. I mean, I literally, look at this. Strawberries. Look at this whole system. This is this whole watering system. So this is a strawberry plant, and each strawberry starts as a flower, and the petals are shed, and then the actual strawberry itself starts to grow. That right there, that's a strawberry. And that was the centre of the flower, right? Yeah. Yeah. You see the centre of the flower there? Yeah. There you go, there's a tiny little strawberry. Wowee! So next task of the day. The next task of the day. Just take off your sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> oh, the next task of the day is we've got a lot of pots outside. Uh-huh. And we've got lots of bedding plants outside. Most of them are flowering already. Uh-huh. And uh, the two ladies here are going to choose which flowers to put in which pot. So what a treat! How are we going to deal with that responsibility-wise? Well, I don't, I don't know. I'm getting very excited about it. Yeah. So how many are we allowed to pick? How many pots do we have to fill? About. Uh, I have no idea. 25, about 25. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Hat on. We're off. All on. Come on. Glasses oh, on. Hat on. <laughs> so this is our selection that we're picking from. Lots of options. And he grew them all. He didn't buy these, he grew them. Great. Let's hop in, Mum. What do we do with the ones we want? Take them out. I like these ones. Are you going to go to the Cosmos? Cosmos? So they're good in the big pots there. How yeah, many put, one pot or two? I would say you would have put about five or six in. Okay. There's already one pot, what you're saying is there, Alice. Yeah, uh, you just hand them to me. We've made our selections and we've just popped them in their pots, in the big pots where they're intended to be. And now dad is doing the planting. Look at all the roots on these. Mm, nice and healthy. He's literally just popping them in. The compost is all peat free. Oh good, that's what we like to hear.
I'm on watering duty. You gotta go right through there because you gotta make contact between the soil and the and the pot. That that one is not ready. Oh the okay. Peatless compost is quite coarse, so you gotta make proper contact. Alright, alright. Yeah. Okay, lesson learnt. Here we go. I think that counts as proper contact. It's lunchtime. I've got some leftovers. This is your dinner yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we've got potatoes, yeah. we've got veg, also got some onion bargees, we've got a little bean salad, some hummus, some crisps, some... Is this <laughs> your own cucumber? Yeah, um, and, and our, radishes. our own radishes. Own radishes, own cucumbers, so <laughs> it's lunchtime. Let's do this. And here we go, here is my finished plate of goodness. And now it's time to chill in the conservatory, give Amber some cuddles. She is just such a love... What would I call her? A love addict. She's obsessed with being tickled, isn't she? Yeah, she absolutely loves it. And we've got cups of tea. Thanks, Mum. Mm -hmm. And in here we have some of Mum's homemade mm -hmm. flapjack. Yum, yum, yum. Do you want? Do you want some of that? No, Amber. She's like, mm, that smells nice. So what's the plan now? We've had some lunch. We've had a cuppa. We've sat in the conservatory, eating some flapjack. And we're going to go... To the veg patch. To the veg patch. And we'll see what we've got in there. There's I think Dad's had some uh, some updates since you guys were last there, so... Possibly. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to borrow Mum's boots. I got these for Christmas a couple of years ago. So you guys have already seen the strawberries. So what are these behind the strawberries, Dad? Well, this, this, this is, these are the blackberries, or generally known as brambles. Brambles. So is this all brambles? This, these two plants are all brambles. Okay. And then those? Then we have the summer raspberries. Uh-huh. And then the bed next to it, the short ones, are the autumn raspberries. Uh-huh. Then we have the two gooseberry bushes. Mm -hmm. And then we have the three black currant bushes. So lots of berries. Lots of berries. Here we have the broccoli. Broccoli, look at them! Hi guys! What are those? We've got some cauliflowers. Cauliflower. And we've got some Savoy cabbages. Lovely. And what's that in the middle? Those are two marigold plants. Why? Aphids do not like marigolds, so that once you put marigold plants in there, Keeps the them aphids away. will stay away. Nice! Top tips! And then look at all of this guys. All of these beds, we're not going to go through every single one, but basically, Dad is growing a lot. How many beds have you got? Twelve. Twelve, Twelve beds. beds. Yeah. Plus a greenhouse. Plus the greenhouse. Plus all of this stuff. And we've got under the covers, we have the salads. Under these covers, you have the salads. So there's lots going on, hey? Absolutely always. So we've got one more thing that Dad wants to show us which is something new. You haven't grown this before, have you? Uh, no, this is a totally new thing. We've never done anything like this. I, I'm going to have to learn as I go along. But it's a peach tree. A peach tree? Show us it. Let's have a gander. This is it. We've got peaches here. There you go. Oh yeah, now you can see the peaches. There you go. And when will they be ready to...? I hope that they're going to be ready in July. So two months. Lovely weather to walk the dog. It's raining. It's raining. It's well, raining. it's not really raining. It's a it's bit of drizzle. drizzle. Look, I don't even have a hat on. It's not even really raining. Zanna's got the full waterproofs on and a brolly. And a hat. I don't even have a hat. But I do have gloves. Just not into the rain, you know. <laughs> Just not into the rain. Blue skies. Sun is out. Happy? Lovely. We've seen lots of interesting things. Pink-footed geese, we've seen some roe deer, we've seen some lapwing. Marsh harrier. Over, marsh harrier over here. You can still see it, but you won't pick it up with your camera. They're huge, they're about twice the size of a red kite. Thank you so much. Ooh. The weather has well and truly turned. Now I've got a Ribena with ice, thank you mum. Shout out to mum, she's just in the shade over there. Yeah. And I got my little piece of flapjack, flapjack number two. Dad's got his water and just enjoying some sun. What a dream. I'm going on the hunt for a chunky ginger cat. I think I know where I'm going to find him. 
Is he here? He's deaf, he's blind, he's old, he's smelly, and he's cute. Here he is. It's Otis, the old boy. This boy, he's so old. And his eyes don't really work very well. But he is gorgeous. He always drools, he always purrs, he always appreciates a stroke. Don't you, Ot? I can hear that my brother just got here and I feel like we're gonna have maybe our fifth cup of tea today. I feel like that's new now that you're with your family. Like your whole day is based around tea. I got here, we had a cup of tea. We had lunch, we had a cup of tea. My godfather came around, we had a cup of tea. My brother's here, we're gonna have a cup of tea. It's just like chats and tea. Tea is the central focus of the day. Everything is based around tea, every conversation is over tea. Is it just my family or does your family do the same? So mum's making us a spag bowl for dinner tonight. And how many portions of veg have we got in here, mum? When I'm going for it, I've got red onion, green and red pepper, aubergine, courgette, celery, mushroom. Wow. Pasta, bolognese, lots of cheese, garlic bread soon to arrive here, and a cheeky gin and tonic. Mm. What are we having for dessert, mum? Hack apple mousse. It's basically adult baby food. So this is my childhood, guys. In, in a, a jar. In a jar. Literally ate this all the time, didn't I, Mum? All the time. Good evening. I just got up to my childhood bedroom. We've had dinner, we've had another cup of tea, and my brother has just left, so I am gonna have a bath because Mum's at quiet and Dad is just watching cricket and probably just doing smelly farts. So I'm gonna have some chill time in the bath. And I came upstairs and found that Mum had got me some treats from Holland. She got me some of these chocolate sprinkles, if you're Dutch, you know. She also got me the apple mousse, the one that I had for dessert tonight, because this is like my childhood staple. And you might see, she's brought these down for me to look at. These are the boards that I had at my 21st birthday party. And it's just like big memory boards, which mum made for me for my birthday. Lots of pictures from my childhood and from me being a little nugglet. I mean, there's some absolute treats on here. Look at this one, can you see that? What a little cutie. Me as a bebe, just born in the hospital. Me and Sophie, you might have seen Sophie on some of my previous vlogs. She's like my oldest friend. Me and the cat, me on a bouncy castle, me crying, you know. Me eating dessert, I mean, some things just never change. Oh, my grandpa. I remember this day, so vividly, the cat with the snake, with a snake in the garden, and I was like, snakes exist, and they come in the garden? You see that outfit with the red jumper and the red leggings? That, oh, my Dutch clogs as well. <laughs> that was my favorite outfit. It was a like teddy bear jumper with teddy bear printed leggings. Fashion. Anyway, gonna go have a bath, gonna sign off for the day. Really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog it was an absolute treat of a day and i'm just really really glad that i made the journey up to yorkshire even though i'm up here for less than 24 hours it's just good to get a little bit of family time in and hopefully next time i see them we can have more than just a day together but i just felt like i needed to see them and um yeah it was just so lovely if you did like this video please hit thumbs up please subscribe please leave a comment and i'll see you guys super soon in my next video bye